So I have something pretty cool to show you guys today. A new football game in development by the name of Legend Bowl. Now it's been developed by an indie developer by the name of King Havo. You might have heard his name from All Pro Football. He has been making all kinds of crazy editors over there. And he actually tweeted me one day for me to check out the All Pro Football editor that he created, which I'm definitely going to do a video on. And I happened to run across this game that he's developing called Legend Bowl. I think the first thing that popped out for me was the art style. You know, I really like these 2D classic football games similar to Tecmo Bowl. So I checked out his dev diary and I was really impressed by what he has planned for this game and how it all works. Now you see I am toggling the helmets on and off. He sent me a very early build, actually the first build with functioning gameplay. There is a lot of bugs, so if you notice something that looks a little crazy, don't mind it. So let me talk a little bit about what his mission is for this game. The core is all about realistic football, but it's still gonna have some arcade fun and competitive stick skill action. Now the animations are nowhere near done, as you see. I got Taco right there. They have the footprints on the field. I like that little touch he has going on here. So King Havo said that this game was inspired by Tech Mobile. He really likes the art, but the camera's a little different and the field dimensions are built to match of a true professional sport. So the players are gonna be to scale on the field and you notice there's no cutscenes. That's one thing that he mentioned in the dev diary. He wanted everything to be true to life. You're gonna see the players run from off the sideline. As you see, I'm passing the ball, it's gonna be incomplete. The referee's actually gonna go over there, get the ball, and take it back to the line of scrimmage. Now he did say he was thinking about allowing people to skip this, just in case you wanna get through the game really fast. But the whole thing is about authenticity. That is the one thing that he was stressing in his dev diary. You see I'm turning on rain. He gave me the ability to change the weather and all that good stuff, so I was checking it out. You can change whether it's daytime, nighttime, the weather, you can have rain, snow, turf, or grass. And I'm able to toggle all that stuff on and off because I do have like a developer version of the game right now. Now he said he plans on having an RPG style story mode. Now when I read this, this is what really caught me too, man. You know I'm all about taking a character and building them up, starting them from nothing and turning them into something. So it's saying the main hero attempts to become the best football player of all time. You'll start out your career with drills and challenges to build up your abilities in hopes of one day making it to the big leagues. I am really liking the sound of that. Basically, you're gonna have to start from the bottom, work your way all the way up to the top. You know I love games like that, so if it has an RPG style game mode, career mode, whatever you wanna call it, I am all in, you know? So we're checking out some of the gameplay. The defense isn't really reacting to everything. Like I said, this is the very first tech demo available, and he allowed me to do this. I am really appreciative of this. I love seeing games start off from nothing and building up to be something amazing and I have really high hopes for this game. Now as far as the platform, he told me he's going to focus on PC and if that works then he's going to try to get it on the Nintendo Switch. Now keep in mind the Nintendo Switch really doesn't have a really good football game. They don't have a football game at all. Neo Geo doesn't count. And Madden I have no idea if it's planning on putting the game out on there. But if they don't, this game will definitely do numbers in my opinion if it comes out the way that I think it will. Now, as far as Xbox One, PS4, and mobile, depending on how the game does on those first couple platforms will determine if he will try to get it out on Xbox One, PS4, all of that. Now, it's looking good. Now, I'm going to actually move around the camera. Like I said, you see the players are actually going over to the sideline, dude. That is really dope. You see cameraman over there. Now, keep in mind, they really don't have any boundaries right now, so they're all over the place. He has all the real officials in the game, so you're going to see the referee. You're going to see the umpire, the line judge, field judge, all that. Seven referees on the field. So it will be totally authentic. Now I'm zooming out. I'm doing this on the tech demo. Like I said, I'm able to do all this great stuff. You see, this is looking pretty authentic. Even though it has the 2D style, 
You see the field, the players are to scale. You have people on the sideline, you have the cameraman, the referees, and you might even tell there's some ball physics. I know he's been paying a lot of attention to that. Now, player customization. That is also going to be a big part of this game. Do you like customization? Yes, you know I do. What about unlockable abilities or equipment? These are all things coming into the game to make it as customizable as possible. All right. So the plan is to have an area where you can go and look at each character and you'll be able to change their shoes, their face, their jersey number, helmet. You can put a visor on their helmet, all that. You can unlock new equipment by completing special challenges and achievements in the game. The plans are to have an extensive list of add-ons to your players so that they each have something new to bring to the game plan and strategy. So that sounds pretty cool. Different helmet types, there will be several of those. You can have a visor on your player, all that good stuff. You see I'm throwing the ball, I'm just trying to get tackled. I wanted to see how that play would run. Now this is all sounding pretty good, isn't it? I am really excited for him to actually dive in more into this game, bring us more news about it. He does have a Twitter, it's at Legend Bowl. Make sure you follow that. And if you wanna to talk to King Havo or ask him a question personally, he is at King Havo. That's J-A-V-O underscore S-H. I'll leave all that information down in the description. So now I'm turning on the debug so you can get an idea. Every character has something different that they are doing and I'm able to toggle that on and off to see where they're gonna be, their position, that's what the P means I think, along with what they're gonna be doing, when they're gonna be doing it. Now he was also talking about the helmets and I am using an Xbox controller on the PC right now. So you are seeing the buttons pop up for the receiver I'm gonna throw it to. But keep in mind, they are not really mapped out to those buttons. So the only thing I'm really pressing is A. As far as the formations, he has all these different formations that he's working on. And I'm sure they're actually going to have plays within these. But right now, it's just the formation. You pick the offense and you pick the defense. And you see how it's going to go. Just to give you a little demo. Now, something also within the game that really caught my attention is something by the name of League Bowl League. And it's where all the on-field fun happens. This is where you'll take your team into a world of intense competition and try to grind your way to become a legend. All right, so the league will be made up of tiered skill levels. Just like the minors in real sports, you have to work your way up the ranks to get to that final destination of legend status. Not only will you have to fight your way to the top, but you'll also need to keep your skills up because you could easily be demoted to the lower level leagues. There will also be challenges and mini events to show off your talent and get street cred in the beginning of the game. As you win matches, you become more popular and begin gaining entries into coveted tournaments to play against local teams, dog. I don't know what else to say. Everything's sounding good, it's sounding amazing, it's looking pretty good so far. I'm gonna do my best to bring you some more information on this game if you want it. Let me know down in the comments. I'm gonna be talking closely with King Havo, trying to find out more information on what's going on and I restarted the game, that's why I have two different uniforms now. But uh, there's gonna be different uniforms, of course you know that, different teams, all that. Now. Like I said, I'm gonna be talking to him, trying to figure out when this is gonna come out, or if he has any type of release date plan, if he has any type of demo plan. I know he wants this to have more exposure. I'm not sure if he knows if people are really gonna like this game, but from what I'm seeing and from what I'm hearing in the blogs and all that, I think it could be a hit for sure, dude. Like really, really, really. Now I want you to go to the website, check out everything, read through it, look at the art, hit him up on Twitter like I said, follow Legend Bowl game. We're gonna try to get this dude to get this thing out. Now you see I'm just messing around with the buttons, trying to hurdle and this and that, seeing what I can do. We gotta get this game popping right here, right now. It's really promising, especially if they have a career mode. That's what I want in a football game. <laughs> That's not too hard to ask for, is it? 
But anyway, leave me a like for more. Leave me a question. Hit him up. That nasty. If you need some help, Havo, hit your boy up. I'll do some voiceovers. You know what I'm talking about? I got a little bit of background in that. Sid, hut, hut, hut. Peace.